Mr. President, thank you so much for spending some time with me thank today. Thank you very much, John. You know, over the years, sir, I've gotten to stay in some of your hotels. Good. I've eaten in your restaurants. I've been in your casinos. And I've always thought of you as a hospitality guy. Right. One of us, like I am. Well, it's uh, sort of natural for me, and it's natural for you, certainly. You've done great. Uh, and I've loved it. I love the business. I love business generally, but now I'm in a different kind of a business. I'm in a business of making America great again. And we're really doing it. We got hit with the plague from China. It was terrible, and they should have stopped it. They should have never let that happen. But uh, before that, and now after that, you see the kind of numbers we're doing. It's been amazing, actually. So post-COVID, sir, there are so many discussions on stimulus programs, right. and of course, uh, uh, and none of it has happened quickly. I wanted to look forward, because COVID is winding down. Yes. And we need some stimulus to get our industry going. As you know, the restaurant industry has lost more jobs than any other industry. Right. And we're decimated by this. So sitting here in Nevada, one of the hubs of the hospitality industry, are you looking at another round of PPP? Yes. And, and uh, what type of provisions, what type of time period are you looking for in that? So we did two rounds plus, and they were very powerful, very strong. It worked out very good. But Nancy Pelosi is just tapping everyone along. She wants to bail out states that have been badly run, that have massive debt, that have a lot of problems, that are always run by Democrats in all cases. And she's not interested in helping the worker. We're going to have a very big stimulus package because I'm the one pushing it. I want the package bigger than hers. I'm a little different than a lot of other people, frankly, when I do that, but I understand what happened. It is not the worker's fault that that happened, that it came out of China. And Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to do it until after the election. I think they're going to lose the House, and I think we're going to win, and I have a feeling we're going to do fine in the Senate. Senate's not going to be easy, but I think we're going to do fine in the Senate. And we're going to do a very big package as soon as the election's over. I would rather do it now, but Nancy Pelosi does not want to do it. So I hope everybody remembers that. Last time, the PPP plan covered about eight weeks worth of payroll. Yes, exactly. Would you like to see it longer this time? I could see it longer, or we'll just do an extension when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Either way would be okay with me, but we definitely want to do it. And we definitely will do it. And we want to get deductibility for the restaurants again. Yeah. Do you remember you're an old-time restaurant, too? Do you remember the old days when you had deductibility? Of course. When they took that away, it actually really hurt the restaurant business. It actually became a smaller business. You know, people say, oh, this restaurant's successful. But it was never successful like it was before. So we're going to get deductibility back. For business meals? Yes. So when we look at a destination like Las Vegas or Miami and East Coast right. destinations, of course, you know, we're not going to come back until the planes are full again. And, and I've heard you mention just in passing that you've looked at some domestic travel incentives. Right. Is that something you're still committed to? So we're doing, we're doing a lot. We're working very hard with the airlines. I agree with you. You have to feel comfortable getting on a plane to make Nevada, really the whole state, whether it's Las Vegas or not, but Nevada really where it was seven months ago. You know, we had, we created something that was the most successful economically that we've ever been. That includes this state. It includes Las Vegas itself, which I know very well. Here we are in a Trump building. So we are doing a lot of things having to do with tourism, and it's all coming to the vaccines are coming out very quickly. You know, we beat this with or without the vaccines, but the vaccines will make it go faster. Uh, therapeutically, it's incredible what's happened. I mean, I'm here. You're right? feeling good? But really, I feel great. Uh, therapeutics are incredible what they can do. And when you look at mortality rates and everything, they're down to a level that nobody could ever believe. And that's all taken place over the last six months. So we have a lot of things going, but this is a business really you have to be able to get people into an airplane. We're also helping the airlines. We've helped them and we will continue. It's always been a tough business, a little bit like the restaurant business, yeah. always been a tough business to start off with, but we're helping the airlines. Are you concerned after COVID that, that the resistance to stimulus is gonna continue? No, I think once we get past the election, we're going to get it. Uh, uh, it may be bipartisan. It may not have to be. Depending if we win the House, it won't have to be. But uh, I think after, right after the election, we're going to get it one way or the other. It'll happen. You know, the employee retention tax credit has been very, very helpful for restaurants right. keeping employees right. going during right. this. Is that something that you'd consider expanding into more restaurant types? We're going to do that. We're going to do that for the worker and the employer. Uh, the tax credit is something that I want to do, I think, more than anybody else in Washington, frankly. Some people don't like it as much as I do. 
But after the election, we're going to get the tax credit. Uh, it will take place very soon, definitely before the end of the year. So when we look at a market like Las Vegas and Miami, because of what's going on in right. airlines, they become sort of drive-in markets right. now, right. rather than fly-in markets. A little bit. Do you see any incentive for hotels as a sector? So it depends. The thing with Las Vegas, you have so many rooms. I think you probably have more rooms than any place About in the world. About 150,000. And you can't just rely on, you know, re rely on drive-in. Plus, it's not going to pay the kind of money that people that fly over from various parts of the world that are loaded and they want to come over and they want to spend a lot of money. Great for jobs, great for your employees, everything else. So it's a temporary fix. That's all it is. It's a temporary fix. You have too many hotels. When you have the kind of rooms, numbers that you have, you got to have more than the drive-in. But the drive-in is a stopgap. It'll help. You're having a lot of people drive in. I noticed it. You have a lot of people drive in, but ultimately the airplanes is going to bring a lot more. Sir, as a hospitality guy, and I think of you as a hospitality guy, what would you say to the restaurant operators who are struggling now and, and we're counting on you yeah. to come through for yeah. us, and we do think of you as one of us. What would you say to us to have us hang in there and get past these next few months? I love that you said that they're counting on me because they can. I'm the one that got this whole thing started, that kept them going in the first place. I'm the one that's fighting for deductibility, which will be such a big thing. That will be bigger. You'll make everything up very quickly because there was never a business. That was a great business when you had deductibility. Yeah. It was never the same after they ended that, probably close to 20 years ago. But I remember it well. And there was a reason for doing it. You know what the reason was? Everybody did so well. That's why they ended it. That's right. Somebody should have fought it. The restaurant should have fought it. But we're bringing that back. Uh, all I say to them is hang on, hang in. It's coming back, and it'll be better than before. Because if we can do a couple of the things like deductibility, you understand as a real restaurateur, you understand exactly what I mean. If we get deductibility and some other things back, the restaurant business will be better than it was before. And this is the time to get things. I mean, normally you could never even think about deductibility. But because of the fact that things aren't so good in that business, this is the time we can actually get it. Get it done. If you would have told me two years ago, let's go for deductibility, they would have laughed at me. But now we can get, get it. it and if we get that, it'll be better than ever. That's exciting. Yeah, it's, to me it's exciting. To me, ultimately, a little longer term, but ultimately that's the most exciting thing for your business. Sir, so some restaurateurs, of course, and hoteliers are in debt four, five, six months yeah. because of, of revenue loss. Do you see any kind of debt relief program in the PPP or through yep. another vehicle? Well, we did a lot of it, and now what we're doing is replenishing, and we have a bill in that we want the Democrats to approve. It's all going to happen right after the election. You watch. Because no matter who you are, no matter how cold, how mean, how nasty, and you have some beauties in Washington, it makes sense. It wasn't the owner of a restaurant's fault, and it certainly wasn't the employees, the people that work in the restaurant. No matter who you are, it makes sense. And I've had very little problem getting people to like it. Right after the election, that'll all happen. Yeah, I believe that, too. I think it's important, yeah. actually. So we can look forward to another round of PPP? Yes, absolutely. And we can look forward quickly. to your commitment to, to business meal deductions? Yep. It's, we, we can it was actually forward. my idea. I'm the one that brought it up. I know. I heard they you said, say it. what does it mean? You, you heard it from me first, yeah. right? Yeah. They all said, what does it mean? I said, it was very easy to explain. But what it is is the best single thing. Best part of our conversation is talking about it. We're going to get it. It's going to mean a lot of money to us. And then you're going to look at some domestic travel incentives yes. as well. We're going to do that indeed. And that'll happen. And you're right about the automobile, the car. A lot of, a lot of business is coming in by car. But ultimately, the plane is very important. So, Mr. President, how are you feeling? I feel really good. I'm excited. I'm excited about the election coming up. Um, our voters go out on Tuesday. They don't even like voting on Monday. They don't even like the — they want to vote. And we're going to have a red wave. I think you understand this better than most. We're going to have a red wave, the likes of which has never been seen, including four years ago. That was a tremendous red wave. But I think you have people out — there's — I leave places. Last night, we were in Omaha, Michigan, Wisconsin. Tens of thousands of people at every place. So we give very short notice. And nobody's ever seen anything like it. John, I think we're going to have a tremendous election. I tell the people, wait till Tuesday if you want, or go and vote early. 
but they really like to wait. You'll explain that to me. But they really like to wait till Tuesday. They want to go out and vote on Tuesday. A lot of traditional people, but they feel safer. Yeah. They don't like ballots. They don't like sending them. They don't trust it. They want their vote to count. I think we're going to have a Tuesday, but you're going to have an early vote, but a Tuesday, the likes of which we've never seen before. Yeah. It's going to be an exciting day, sir. John, it's an honor to be with you, and keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. President. It's, and someday it's, you'll run for office, I think, you know? I'm looking at it very I seriously. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I've heard it, and uh, you would do very well.